Howdy, everybody. Welcome to wing video number three. And as you can tell, I am still working on the spar. And I am still drilling, countersinking millions and millions and millions of holes. Um, so, yeah. Um, I did post a video that came out. Um, well, when this comes out, it'll be a few weeks ago, but, and I had misspoken, um, and somebody in the comments had corrected me. So, uh, that does happen. I am not 100%. I am not perfect. So please, if you see something I do wrong or say something wrong, please point it out. Um, so we can all be on the same page there and make sure we're all right. My, uh, bag box got bigger. So... I think I've shown this to you guys before. So if you look, every bag in numerical order. And so if I know it's in bag like 307, there's 307. 307 has my screws and my nut plates for the wings. But it's easy to find because it's organized by number in the things. And then each bag inside in my little uh, um, jewelry bags, it separates them out so they're not all shoved together. So it's my handy little trick. It works. So there you go. So yeah, that's my uh, box of bagged items that I have in my inventory. And I'll show you a picture of the inventory stuff here. Um, but it makes it really easy to find the things that you're looking for. Okay, so I've been testing some things. And so this is what I have come up with. So hopefully it's right. So doing the wing spar here. I don't know if you can see. So in the instructions, it talks about using a number 19 drill. And then I used a number eight screw dimple die to make it so this is nice and flush. So I hope that's right. And then you show you what I did here. So then you use your, your countersink cage with your number 30 countersink and you do that so that this dimpled part will fit nice and flush kind of in that hole. And the number 30 countersink will actually fit inside the, the hole of the nut plate. So it'll actually fit inside there. So you can line it up in the hole when you countersink it. So I tested this one and it looks pretty good. It's pretty right on the money and I like it. So that's what I'm gonna stick with. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's what we're working on. So those holes look really, really big when you countersink them. Um, like so much so that I was like, holy crap, I hope I didn't just ruin the spar. Um, but they are supposed to be like three, eight, almost three eighths of an inch um, from outer edge to outer edge there. So, I mean, that's a goodly sized countersunk area and it works out when you you do actually put the skin on there with the dimple for the the screw because i did test that out but um yeah it, it is big and so big that you actually think that you are wrong so just be aware of that that the countersink does look a lot bigger than you think it should be um Okay, so a couple of tricks that I've seen that I will share. Okay, the first one is if you look 
underneath I have the the entire spar sitting on Clecos all the way down even right here it's just really close right there and it said to support it and I have my little uh, styrofoam things out supporting it but I didn't like that and I saw I forget whose video I was watching maybe bald man building a plane or I forget which one but they had it set up with the Clecos and it kept it nice and straight the whole way down so that's the first trick the next trick is I don't know if it's a trick, but the holes in the spar, these holes for the nut plates, right, where the screw goes in, the screw that's used for the nut plates that are called out for, um, you have to drill that out, and it's a number 19 drill, just FYI. That's a number 19 drill to drill those out so there is just enough room to get that screw in there to hold it in place so it's lined up perfectly straight so it's lined up perfectly straight with the nut plate when you go to put the um, your rivets in so just FYI well there you go so I bought all of my drills from that drillsandcutters.com website um, they have nice drills for not very expensive. Um, so I'm not saying they're the cheapest place you can get them, um, but they're high quality, nice cobalt jobber drills that you can get and you can get them for a pretty good price. So I highly recommend them if you um, are looking for drills and they have all kinds of sizes and stuff. So that's kind of nice. Um, so I haven't done a joke yet. So let me do a joke. So um, let's see. How do you get a country girl's attention? A tractor. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Um, I don't know if I've done this one before, but we'll try it. So what do you call a pudgy psychic? A four chin teller. <laughs> a four chin teller. <laughs> oh, it kills me. Oh, I love dad jokes. They're awesome. <clears throat> so this is me just adding in the nut plates on the spar for the fuel tanks. That's all I'm really doing there. Um, and there are a bunch of them. I'm not sure how many, 25, 30, 35, some, I, there's a bunch of them. Um, and they're on the top and the bottom. Um, and so it does take some time. And you basically screw in the, um, screw in the screw so you make sure it's lined up before, and make sure you have the screw in while you're, um, putting the rivet in so you know that it's aligned and you can actually go through the hole and screw the, the nut itself in. Um, I did have a picture of the, my screwdriver there. It's really nice Klein ratcheting screwdriver, which I really like. Um, I would highly recommend it. It's nice and easy to get stuff out because you can use that ratcheting part of it so you can hold it and ratchet it and it, it's just really easy. So. Um, not that you couldn't just use a regular old plain screwdriver that works too, but the ratcheting one's pretty nice. Um, and then this is me, um, doing the countersinking on those, um, the, um, I believe it's the, this is the top of the spar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the top of the spar, um, but it's the other holes. So it's all of the other holes on the spar. So we've already countersunk the nut where the nut plate is. We've countersunk where all of the attached plates are. Now we need to go by and um, countersink all of the other holes in the thing for the skins of the wings themselves. And so that's what I'm doing here is, 
well, now I flipped it around, so I'm doing the nut plates on the other side. But what I was doing before was the countersinking. As always, feel free, leave a comment. Talk to you later. Subscribe. Bye.